Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do your May the 31st just for today in a meditation. Almost slipped my mind today, so I'm glad to be able to get in here. Just have a few minutes to cover it. It is entitled, Keep It Simple. We live a day at a time, but also from moment to moment. When we stop living in the here and now, our problems become magnified unreasonably. That is taken from the basic text, page 99. Life often seems too complicated to understand, especially for those of us who've dodged it for so long. When we stopped using drugs, many of us came face to face with a world that was confusing, even terrifying. Looking at life in all its details, all at once, may be overwhelming. We think that maybe we can't handle life after all, and that it's useless to try. These thoughts feed themselves, and pretty soon we're paralyzed by the imagined complexity of life. Happily, we don't have to fix everything at once. Solving a single problem seems possible, so we take them one at a time. We take care of each moment as it comes, and then take care of the next moment as it comes. We learn to stay clean just for today, and we approach our problems the same way. When we live life in each moment, it's not such a terrifying prospect. One breath at a time, we can stay clean and learn to live. Just for today, I will keep it simple by living in this moment only. Today, I will tackle only today's problems. I will leave tomorrow's problems to tomorrow. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please, and thank you. By the way, if you need to reach me, feel free to do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Keep it simple. You know, I I believe for me this happens. Um, Okay, so I woke up in plenty of time. Um, One of my uh, children had a bad dream, so we had to discuss that um, and go from there, right? So I know that I don't have a lot of time this morning. I know that I have somewhere to be at nine o'clock, right? Someone is depending on me to do something right at nine. So what do I do? I break off the bleach and start cleaning my stairwell, going down into the basement. Who has time for that? But that's what I decided to spend my time on. And then when I got finished, I was like, oh, well, let me start some towels. And then I was like, "Hmm, let me come up here and pack the car, get ready to go. So I'm done. And it realized, I realized as I was packing my laptop, Oh yeah, you're supposed to be recording. Now the time has gone. All of that time that I woke up early in advance is gone with these mindless activities, right? And that's always seems to me how it is for me. I'm in the middle of doing something in the moment, but I'm worried about the next thing. You know, it's easier to live just for today, and it's easier to live one moment at a time. Instead of getting myself worked up about what's next and what's next, and sometimes jumping way into something that I already have scheduled to do over the weekend, we can just take each thing, one thing at a time, one moment at a time, sit back, relax. And understand that some of those things that we're worried about working out, they have the funniest way of working themselves out when we just allow them to sit where they may. Not procrastinate, I'm not encouraging that, but I am encouraging that we live in the moment that we're in, that we stay present and we give our 100% to that situation. We bring our best selves to each situation. And if it seems overwhelming, that we can pull back 
take a moment of silence or go into prayer and meditation or whatever we do to refuel and then go into that next situation refreshed, giving our best selves to that situation and the people that we may need to encounter within it. So today I'm choosing to reboot. This feels like the beginning of the morning. Again, I'm rebooting with you guys and I'm grateful for that because I'm trying to live in a simple, more peaceful, joyful manner. I wish the same thing for you today. I hope that you have a beautiful day on purpose. I intend to talk to you soon.